Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to another episode on your favorite Little Sla YouTube channel. So today in this set of videos, we are going to see uh, how to uh, identify, analyze and resolve a JVM issue caused by inefficient garbage collection. So I will take you through step by step and I will not bore you with too much of concepts. So we are going to see uh, all these uh, videos one by one. So on the very first day, I'm going to discuss about uh, identifying these symptoms, how to identify the symptoms of uh, the issue in terms of the performance problem. So in terms of the garbage collection. And also I will show you um, how to find the symptoms and how to gather the initial data, how to analyze the GC logs and lots of other steps like uh, all these are from the real time experience. And before we move on to this video, this is me, Asan Sharmagam. I welcome you all to our little slide YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And this set of videos are going to be a definite uh, energy booster for you in case for your interview because I'm going to share tons and tons of technical knowledge in terms with like with very critical keywords so please do watch the entire set of videos i mean this going this video is set up going to be like around 10 videos where i'm going to take you through various tools various techniques various keywords so please do watch the entire section and this is the first video of it at uh, one uh, day by day i'll upload the other videos like i said i don't want you, you to bore with too much of concepts on the same day so that's the reason this is a very small and short video so please do support me um, by subscribing to our channel like my channel and for more jvm related videos please do join my channel for creating more quality content and yeah with no further delays let's go to the video so here in this scenario uh, we are uh, in mean, the scenario uh, here is an e-commerce application with a slow response times so uh, we are getting an increased or a slow response time during the peak hours and it's mainly due to the out of memory errors and uh, could be a cpu usage spike and the customers are complaining about slow page loads and timeouts and these are indicative of uh, several potential issues in our applications performance and infrastructure so i will break down uh, these part into the first thing so which is the symptoms part so how are we going to observe the symptoms and how i mean like identify the symptoms and we are going to uh, move to the next step in fixing this issue the first the first part here is the increased uh, response times during uh, peak hours so the response time have increased from an average of 200 milliseconds to over two seconds during uh, peak traffic times and what are the possible causes for these it could be due to high traffic load so your application will be experiencing more concurrent users than it can efficiently handle leading to resource contention and because of inefficient code or because of database queries so as the load increases your code the inefficient code paths or database queries that are acceptable under normal load may begin uh, may become a significant bottlenecks and then the scaling issue so if the application is inefficient of scaling um, in terms of scaling the application servers or the databases to handle the peak traffic so that's the very very first reason which is increased response time during peak hours and then the second part is occasional out of memory error so that is another more high complex or high uh, valued bottleneck you you will face so uh, what is occasional out of memory error so the application logs shows out of memory errors suggesting that the application is running out of heap memory and what are the possible causes so the memory leaks so there might be a memory leak in the application where the memory is not properly released which can cause a gradual increase in memory usage and high memory consumption so that the application might be consuming more memory due to increased load or inefficient memory usage and then enough insufficient heap size so the configured heap size uh, might be insufficient for the workload during peak times and then the third option is the cpu usage spikes on application servers so what is cpu usage spike on application servers? so the cpu usage on uh, application server spikes especially during peak hours and what is the possible reason so the first possible reason is high load where if you uh, experience increased traffic which can lead to higher cpu usages as the servers try to handle more requests and then uh, due to inefficient processing uh, when you are using inefficient algorithms or the processing tasks that are cpu intensive and the main thing which is the garbage collection so in environments like java uh, there will be frequent or inefficient garbage collection due to memory pressure that can cause cpu spikes and
and then the last part the customer complaint about the slow page load and timeout so customers are experiencing an increased response time or i would say a slow page load and sometimes timeouts so what are the possible causes for this uh, it could be a back end performance so a slow response time from the back end due to any of the issues mentioned above so so far we have mentioned a lot of reasons for the slow response times it can be due to increased network latency or congestion and then the content delivery network issue so the problem with the cdn if used affecting the delivery of static assets so now we will move on to the next step where we are going to gather the initial data so thank you so much for watching the entire video on the very first day and as i told you so this is the very first day where we have discussed about identifying the symptoms where we have observed various symptoms as we have discussed so far and tomorrow we are going to see how to gather the initial data which is how to enable the gc logging and how to monitor the system resources and how to analyze the application logs for error patterns so we will see all of these uh, core concepts tomorrow in our next video so until i meet you in our next video it's bye bye from us and chanmugam and your favorite little side channel so please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to join my channel thank you and see you tomorrow